this is Carrie Vacanti with Stamp Epiphany and a great stamping idea. Today I'm going to show you how to make these cute little strawberries out of paper. I'm going to learn how to make the leaves and and fold this into a strawberry. You're going to be surprised maybe, but the shape that we need to make these little strawberries is a star. You could use any shape star you want out of our framelit pack that comes with all the different stars. I have taken this particular one. This is about the four inch one comes almost to the four inches and I've dry embossed it with our dot embossing folder and that gives it a little bump like seeds um, if you were really ambitious um, you could even just maybe color each one of these little dots um, with a little bit of maybe early espresso and it'll make it look even more like a strawberry um, you need your bone folder and you're going to just kind of break down the fibers a little bit with the edges of the star and I want to find about where the middle is. I'm not gonna fold it all the way across, but I'm just trying to find about where the middle might be. And we're going to poke a hole in the middle. And then I'm going to cut up just to where I poked, just right there. All right, the next thing that I want to do is take my handheld punch and I want to punch a hole. Now I want these to kind of match up, so I'm going to overlap that and punch. You could punch them at the same time. I just forgot, sorry. Okay, and then we're gonna subsequently punch a hole in the other three legs of this star here. So we have them all punched. The next thing you're gonna need is some ribbon. I just have some old olive from my stash. Okay, you need a nice sharp point. First thing you're gonna do is gonna fold that leg over and overlap these two right here. And get that to match. And we're gonna thread our ribbon through that. Just enough that we can grab. So we're gonna grab that. And I wanna pull it till I have about enough that I could tie a knot with it later. So now we're going to do the sides and then the, the opposite. So I like to take it around the outside and thread it through that way. Let's see if I can see my hole here. Make sure you hang on to the edge. You don't want to accidentally tear the paper. Okay, so now we have that threaded. And I'm going to take it straight across and thread it through this one. And sometimes you need to recut the end of your ribbon. So here's the opposite. Still have the paper in there. There we go. Thread that through. Okay, you can see they're starting to want to come together and that's what we want. So I'm going to push this one. And I, I like to gather these three first before I work on the last one. Just get them all, I want them all towards the middle here. And now would be the time that you would throw your little treat in, whether it be a chocolate or a little mint or something. Okay, once you have that in there, then you can take and thread this through the last hole. Okay, and then just push those together. So you just want to work it until all these points are together. See how that's starting to take shape there. And then next you just want to tie a knot. Okay, you might want to still kind of keep shaping it as you go. And if you find that the points here are kind of getting in your way, um, don't be afraid to kind of nick those off a little bit. Be careful not to do too much because you don't want to lose your, your grip here on the them holding together. But once you got it, fold that. Now you have that tied in a knot. Now we're going to trim off each one of the ends. Like that. Now let's put this off to the side and let's do the leaves. So 
This is actually a flower die cut from our flower flare uh, framelit set and it's uh, the one with the five petals but we want to give it a, mo a little more life it's a little bit plain right now so let's take some old olive and just sponge up the edges to give that some more dimension make it look more schnazzy okay then I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the other with the strawberry. I'm going to just curl the ends with my bone folder. Then we're going to take the fourth inch punch because we need a little bit larger hole. Punch about the middle. And then we're going to take our two little ends, grab those together, and those are going to get threaded down into that hole that you made and you're going to pull that until the knot pops up above it and there is your strawberry look how easy that was just takes a few minutes I made a whole bunch of them and I'm sure you'd like to see so here you could give an entire little basket of these cute little little strawberries and I'm sure anyone would love to get something like this and just get them so excited and they know that someone out there loves them. And what better way to spread the joy than to let someone know that you love them. So if you'd like to know how to make the berry basket, I'll link that in the description box below. Stampin' Up! did a great job demonstrating that. Let me know if you like this. Give me a thumbs up or leave a comment down below. I'd be grateful to hear from you and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye now.